Hi, my name is Neil Blevins, and this is a quick little video tutorial on how to use the Liquify tool in Photoshop to um, aid in the design process. So um, what we have here is just a real quick two-minute sketch I did uh, using pencil on copy paper, you know, nothing special. Um, and, you know, looks fine, but we might be able to push it a little bit uh, using the, the Liquify tool. So go up to here, and uh, here's Liquify. I'm using um, CS6, by the way, but um, Liquify has been around for a while, so it'll be in pr probably any version that you might be, uh, be using. So looking at this, I'm like, you know, what can I do to sort of push the design a little bit? And maybe I'll start off by making the cranium a bit bigger, maybe uh, increase the, the brain size, and maybe uh, I'll push this down a little bit front to compensate. Looks like the eye is now a little weird, so let's fix that. I'm making the uh, the brush bigger and smaller, by the way, using the um, left bracket and right bracket, which is uh, the same for all Photoshop brushes and also in the Liquify tool. Maybe I'll take the, the fangs and make them a little more, a little longer, so it's a little more streamlined now. And then um, let's see what we can do with these tentacles. Like, you know, this tentacle is okay, but maybe uh, we can get a, a better curve going on here, something a little wavier, you know, a, a more elegant curve than, than what I drew. Uh, or, or here's a really good example. So this tentacle here goes down, and then this area is sort of a flattened area here, and that's, you know, that's not great. Let's, let's go in, let's curve that a little bit too, so that it's, again, a little bit more of an elegant curve. And I'll tweak this guy here. Pull that out a little bit, and uh, this looks like a good area to get, again, a bit of a better curve going here and there. Okay, so uh, once I've done that, I hit OK on this, and there we go. That's the new version of it. So um, here, let me uh, go back and forth. That's the original. That's the new version. Original and the new version. So you can use this technique for um, in a number of ways. You can use it to, to correct mistakes uh, or you know tweak perspective on things. You can use it uh, like I just did to maybe push the design a little bit, make it you know a little bit more extreme, not quite as as uh, square, but something instead that's you know um, a little more uh, rocket ship like or, or streamlined and get some better curves going on the tentacles. You can also use this technique to uh, make a bunch of different variations. So say you want to do five or six different variations and show them all to the client and see which ones they like best or which one they like best. Um, it's much faster to do it this way than it is to necessarily draw each and every, uh, each and every one. Um, in this case, I'm using it on uh, a simple sketch, but you can also use this, of course, on, on finished paintings and any other thing that you need to just sort of tweak around a little bit to see if you can find something that might be a little bit better than what you, you had originally. Anyway, um, that's the end of this uh, short little tutorial, so thank you very much for watching, and hopefully you can use this technique in your own designs. Later.